G'day and welcome back to Runwatch. It's day 77 and uh, we found some disturbing, disturbing things. We found a camp with an observation report about us and an observation report about Delilah. Um, uh, why do we not have the Delilah report? Could have sworn I said to keep that. Thank you very much. But fine, we got that. Guilt ridden, successful to influence. But, you know, something a bit sus. Ah, here we go. Delilah. Reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Not very sus uh, susceptible to manipulation. And multiple lovers despite long Thai partner. Name Javier. Okay. Interesting. So. Save for later. Nice. Okay. I, l I like how the photo of Julia starts off down. Um, what the fuck difference a day makes? Holy hell, I don't know how to begin. It's late past midnight. I'm going to write down everything that's happened today as fast as I can. I went to the lake and found a clipboard and walkie-talkie. I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say other than someone's listening to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone out here listening to us and uh, is out here listening to us and attacked me. They are taking notes about our conversations, and we think there might be some sort of study going on. Like, maybe we were given these jobs not just to look out for fires, but to be part of a behavioral study or something. Fuck. I don't... I know how this all sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of it. Delilah definitely heard someone on our walkie-talkies too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She heard someone too. I tried calling her back a couple of times tonight. We don't know what to talk on... But we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. And there's these things. Delilah. No too much. Delilah flying. Uh-huh. No from the fire crew. So we're just like going full conspiracy theory crazy there. So. And use wave receiver. Um, so, any signal that's coming up is from that direction. Um, let's turn on that light switch. I wonder, if I do this, hey, yeah. So, I mean, it's southwest, right? So we want to head down towards Medicine Wheel? Because north is that way, right? Yeah, northwest, east. Southwest, yeah. So where's Delilah's Tower? Because this is visible. North. Okay. So we close the door. This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? I Whiskey. Know. A fifth of Major Bueno to yeah. from the Creek. Are you drunk? Good plan. Good no. plan. I am getting drunk. Good plan. I'm a good planner. <laughs> nice. My thinking is all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may it's not like there's any proof we were down there my thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver which by the way is proof they were down there think. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are <laughs> let's guess it's bears Surprise! Shit! What? Ah. Okay. Huh. 
How do I examine... Ah, there. And I can't look behind me? Oh, look. Key for K452. Interesting. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some mm -hmm. clothes, and basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's... There's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, K452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah. Not that I'm paranoid. Looking behind me. Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila <laughs> in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. But the fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Nice. You know, way to worry a lot. Um, there's no one here. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. There was a cassette player. Somehow. Oh, hi there. Left a cassette player hmm. to my damn door. Nothing worrying about this, right? I don't even know what to say to that. Sheesh. Well, let's see what's on it. Got the crappy old headphones. Nice. <laughs> it's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and. It sounds like we were the ones who burned it down, and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? And it's tomorrow. Yeah. Don't freak out, don't freak out. Totally freaked out. But not unreasonably, I feel. anything wrong someone claiming to be Henry in two forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire um. so I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know or that I'm an arsonist or that I'm fucking losing it furthermore I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night so someone has evidence to back it up we need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, mm -hmm. when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Wow, it's smoky, isn't it? I suppose you're right. I know. Okay, so. I need to get to that cave. And that cave is not there. Not there. It's over here. Aha. Uh -huh. So. Boop, 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 boop. Ah. Yep, going the right way. Past the loo. That's right. I remember that. And then, so we head this way, and we head down the hill, and there we go. 
I love how now we have the wayfinder, which also has a compass. It uh, we don't need the compass anymore. And uh, of course, because N brought up the compass before too, so that all makes sense. Okay, now let's see. What do we got? We got a nice big old fire. Giving us plenty of smoke and cover. Hey, you... Huh. you didn't actually make that call, right? To, to be able to look out. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. <laughs> Please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Let's go in the cave. What do we see? Take the key? Already have. Good. Oh, nice. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! I can't get any damn reception. Nothing creepy about this at all. Delightful. I mean, we did say we liked Spelunkin. It's freezing in here. Ah, uh, I was gonna love the echo and everything. Got little bits of light. Oh, that could potentially be a way out. Who are more determined? Better than jumping down. Uh huh. That's another weirdly textured rock. Got it. Ah uh, well. Weird. Okay. Okay, so now we know there's a way out. We, we can't try and radio Delilah again for reasons. So let's check the other part of the... No, the way. That was a long drop. I'm going to get down. I'm going to leave. And then I'm going to come back. And if that means I'm cutting myself off from seeing more of what's in the cave. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. Oh, I, I didn't say that either. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Oh, hi there. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. Huh. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. His grief is their sorrow. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Huh. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I 
got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. Interesting. And just hmm. said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not hmm. that it ended up mattering. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. Huh. Hey, look. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure <laughs> it was quite elaborate. Yeah. It's some wily e. coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Um, Brian was doing a radio waves? project nice. about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. <laughs> Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. <laughs> You're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Nice. Oh, please nice. drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain <laughs> nice. to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. They're pretty rusty. But they're kind of worth... they would work. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. Oh, nice. Dear Ranger, gonna, thank you. Please return them. Something and never got around to it. I mean, he left oh, a nice. note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Huh. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. Huh. Cool. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past Throwing that. dagger battle axe. Nice. Armor 7, hit points 28. There's some great <laughs> dirty document, document here. Nice. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor 7. Classic wizards and wyverns. Nice. No, Auntie, no. Cat decided that he should uh, scratch the couch. Haven't seen him scratch that one before. Perfect. Okay. There's a busted old toy out here. Some sort of electronic game. Yeah. I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Hmm, yeah. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, Not conventional. Uh, I think that was the one thing radio good do one. With him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. Can't keep the broken thing. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. Oh, What's nice. That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Huh. Oh, gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. So that's a lucky break, if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Okay. That's all pretty neat. And then I think that's everything I can look at here. Can't go down? Really? Ah, right, I see. So this is how you can see how it works. And then down we go. Yeah. Cool. What do you think is in there? 
probably something that will kill me. So, you know, just sort of getting myself right with God or whatever there is. Henry. It's cute. They closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? <laughs> I gotta know Honestly, what it is. I just, I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Hmm. Hey, I wonder if we can find the frickin' ninja. Got a dead elk out here. It's torn up something good. Yeah, I mean, I think it's you mostly been bears that they're actually tracking. Shut up. Huh. This elk is wearing a tracking collar. The wave receiver picked it up. Is that right? Yeah, it's numbered. Makes sense. Maybe they were <laughs> tracking elk at that site. Maybe they were doing exactly what they said they were. Delilah. Yeah. There was lots of equipment there. I mean, they, they could have been up to a lot, you know? <laughs> yeah, sure. They could be. Could have been things up than elk as well. Okay, so. Where are we? We're up top here. We're over here. We wanted to head back to the cave. Which is where? There's kids hideout. The cave is that way. Are we headed in the right way? I'm gonna go with not really. Yeah, I think this is the direction we actually need to head. <sighs> Wish I could get that map up at the same time, but I can't. And over here. Really feel like we're near the end. Thoroughfare and Beartooth Point, yep. So we're headed in the right direction, we just basically follow this. Cool, cool. Next step, wedge open gate. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Oh, good. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They Good. took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. <laughs> <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Yeah, we're going the right way. What's up here? Anything cool? Nope, nope, not really. Huh, okay. And let's get to the cave. I think there's just some jerk out here, to be honest. But you know, it's still not cool to lock someone in. Repeats. No. Good. <laughs> hey, you meant to be able to get down. Thing is, like, how are they getting up and down there? Are you telling me they've got stuff there all the time, or what? 
We're going to have our rope cut. Like, what are we expecting to find down here? It's a nice lengthy bit of cave. It's still quite wide. Hello. Hmm. No place to put an anchor? No. Nah. Alright, no. Nah, we can just totally climb that. It's all good. Along with here. So what are we looking for? What's our big reveal? Huh. Look. Oh, shit. You... Oh, God. You fell. You're probably a good one. Oh. Oh, no. Oh no, that's terrible. And that's quite a nice big cave, isn't it? Huh. Now we're allowed to run. And this will be a different exit. So he didn't leave in a hurry. He died, and what happened to his kid? Wow. I always expect there'll be like someone waiting for me just as I come up there. They'll come up with these kinds of climbing sections. Because it forces your camera to look away from things. And I'm Deeply skeptical of that approach. Except as a way to worry me. Oh, look, here's our entrance. So, what happened to the child? Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <gasps> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> oh God, Delilah. <laughs> Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out yeah. here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting yeah. at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're wow. leaving tomorrow anyway. Wow. 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 <laughs> that is... very sad. We just got all of our stuff. Patriots, mug, desk lamp, Mitch is a different person. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire Oof, or wow. the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. Huh. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we 
talk for a sec, you know, about things? About nope. what? About what happened to Brian. I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and... I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe? Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Wow, um, yep. That fire's going bad. You pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. Huh. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, do I need uh, any of that? Okay, Is there I'm anything to pack up? Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape mm -hmm. and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. Keep. Ah, oh, right, so I can do that. I can pick up and keep? No? Fine? I don't get it. Um, like, I don't get how what I'm meant to pack. But yeah. Let's find this out. I think this is going to be the end of the game. So, um, I don't think it's a good idea to move to a new episode. Let's just, uh, let's just see where we get to, eh? It's a, this time it's due west. Wow. Where are we going? Over here? Interesting that it gives no indication of direction. It's no direction of um, distance. Oh, actually, I actually guess that's what the beeping's for. Beep frequency. Um, yes, that's what I was looking for. It's not the pitch, it's actually like how frequent the beeps are. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. Alright, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Uh -huh. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Uh -huh. So, how am I meant to take my stuff? I got four boxes of stuff. I guess that's mostly being left behind. Henry. Let's see. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. <laughs> We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now that's I gotta Ned. go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for Croc's sake. Uh. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. Uh -huh. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a pile of crap. You guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. 
Right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, yeah. having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't oh. see the point. Oh, wow. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just... Ah, oh, I yeah. see, yeah. He's gone. 89. Deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. He... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios <sighs> and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. He... God... Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. He held on to some of Brian's things, his wizards and wyverns. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Dear Rad. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. Look out, supplies. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. How to break in, you know. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. Huh. Nice. Why did he get the things? Oh, because it's actually a color. Ah, ah, I see. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. This boombox looks familiar. From the girls? Yeah. I thought you threw it into the lake. Well, he must have fished it out. I forgot I had the camera. I could have used it to sight, too. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Is there any other thing we're talking about here? Hmm. Nice. And not so nice. Alrighty. Let's get out of here. Apparently, I'm also almost out of space, so... That's going to be inconvenient. Let's see if we can make it out of here. Right, hike north of the thoroughfare. Where am I? Right now. There. And then I'll call it. There we go. I'm just going to take a quick moment. Is the recording already broken? Probably. One moment. I'm just going to clear off 
some space. Okay. Yeah, I just completely underestimated how much space this game would take up. So let's let a couple of gig free up. And now let's start again. Not literally start again now. Alright. So, looks like there was an issue with the uh, drive space. So, kind of be relying on the stream for some of this, but the video quality should hopefully be back now. I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But yeah. not. It was a sweet yeah. kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? Sorry. Yeah. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop from thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Well, you kind yes, of did. I did. <laughs> and now I've got to decide that that whether I is tell people echoing. that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> yeah. He? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Yep, yeah, he's okay. on his way. Uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Uh, D. What if they don't come back for me? They'll come <laughs> back. That's their job. Just what if we missed something about uh, something I don't know Henry you're tired there's yeah. nothing big going on they'll come back for you just wait <laughs> I'm gonna go okay yeah if you have to I have to hike safe yeah thought that would happen well thought something would mean that we would never actually see her I think she's better as a figure and a voice on the radio. I wonder if like these fires are historical because I mean the game is set at a particular time, so you could pick one at that time. <sighs> and yeah, so off we go. And I guess this kind of serves as the closing because you don't get and not you don't have a voice on the radio and the game's told you that's not gonna happen anymore. So you're just kinda heading down in the pretty but smoky area. Ah, that's not it. This is it. We're here, and yep, we have to turn up to the left. And there is bug, bug note. Cool. Ah, easy to get turned around in the smoke. Just like real smoke. Huh. 
Interesting. And sad. Okay, where are we going? Up. Along, right? Map. Okay. We're here. We should be able to get up and around, right? There we go. So did Ned also cut the wire? Man. Things had happened. Okay. Down we go. Supply drop there of uh, Jonesy Lake. Yeah, this way. Pass the supply drop and out into the wilderness. Well, not into the wilderness, to where we'll be picked up by Chopper and taken home. It's good. I really enjoyed this. Really glad that I had this um, experience and I can see why everyone's talked fairly highly about it. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Nope. Delilah? And pull yourself across the ravine. And we're done. I assume. Don't think there'll be any like after credit sequence. Ah, here's Delilah's tower. So head up. Just got this to kind of for partner, I guess. There's maps, thousand one crosswords. I like that you got these pieces to kind of get an idea of what she's, who she is. Ah, and there's the Hello? picture of Henry. Anybody there? <laughs> White Hi. shorts. I am to. Yeah, it's truck red Colorado plates yeah nice it's a piece of shit well yeah I think and that's there might be a raccoon living in it make sure he's huh. comfy I guess hey it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you okay there's a debrief in a situation like this lots of questions ah, shit so, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. Mm -hmm. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Make peace I with Beth, I guess. Know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, sure. Um, maybe. Uh. Maybe move to Santa Fe. Open a Jade Emporium with your sister. <laughs> I'd be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, but maybe that's not all bad. Plus cute. the margarita situation. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. Nice. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, you do. 
Yeah, sure. Henry, I... Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Yeah. When I get back, maybe I could have done. We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh, I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? <laughs> yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Aw. Bye, Hank. And now we're done? I mean, I, I do like the stuff we've seen, but I've also felt like we've had this coming for a while. We didn't take Bert. Oh no, I should have grabbed him when I had the chance. Poor Bert. And there's the chopper. Darkened so we can't see a pilot. Hmm. Interesting. I guess you focus your art resources where you can. Oh no, there's someone here. Go home. Better than go live in the woods. And so that was Firewatch. It was good. Really enjoyed it. Really glad I played it. And uh, it was a good Christmas present. Glad I finished it before the next Christmas. And I will leave you here. Bye.